Hello. So what I'd like to do today is to go ahead and cover what, in my opinion, are the absolute worst N64 game titles to buy as the mass-produced reproductions coming out of China. Now, reproductions, repros, fakes, whatever people want to call them, um, they are very, very polarizing as is. Uh, you know, you can get people who are just full-on militant, almost crazed in their responses to these things. But these are the game titles that I've gone through and I've just said, look, you know, I, I, I literally, there is no good reason to buy these games as reproductions because the savings is so either so minimal or worse, the reproduction is actually more expensive than the authentic one by the time you look at the different options that are out there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the game titles that I just, as I said, I, I would just flat out avoid these as buying them as reproductions. Just go ahead and buy the real deal. It's just, you know, from every perspective, it's going to be a better value for your money. So the first one on my list is going to be Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64 for the U.S. version is going to run you, authentic version, is going to run you between about $25 to $30 on eBay all in. The reproduction version is going to run you between about $20 and $25 all in, uh, once again from eBay, which you know basically about as cheap as it's going to get. So you're talking about a pretty minimal savings there. By the time you factor in things like inconsistent quality control standards in the reproductions with potential for early failure of the memory chips, so you can't save your game anymore, uh, having a bad ROM flash, maybe somebody used a beta version ROM to flash to the flashboard, or a worse, a CIC authentication chip failure so that your N64 can't even recognize it as a real deal anymore. Um, you know, the, the by the time you factor in that little of a savings with those many issues, it's just not worth it. Go ahead and buy the original for this game title. The next one is going to be Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 is an interesting one because there's actually two a double whammy for the reproduction on these ones. Um, and the first one is that the original is not terribly expensive. It's between, once again, about $25 and $30, as opposed to about $20 to $25 for the reproduction. In addition to that, there is also an English-friendly Japanese version of this, and, and also has an additional feature, and that is the Super Mario 64 Rumble Edition, which you can pick up from a U.S. eBay seller for about $17, $18. So it's actually a few dollars cheaper than buying the American repro version reproduction. So either a few dollars cheaper and get an additional feature with the Japanese version, or you can buy the real deal for just a few dollars more as the U.S. version. So, from both ends, reproduction, bad value. The next one on my list, and this is another one that's a double whammy uh, against the reproduction, and that is for Mario Kart 64. Yes, this is the Japanese version, which I'll get to in a second. The U.S.-based version will run you, for an authentic one, between about $25 and $30. Once again, reproduction is going to run you between about $20 and $25, depending on you know where you shop around on eBay from different eBay sellers. Um, the Japanese version is almost 100% in English, menus and everything, and you can pick it up for around $15. Um, so once again, you know you can buy the uh, a reproduction fake. American version for 20 to 25 or you can buy the real deal Japanese one which is almost 100% in English for 15 bucks. Once again, you know, bad value for the reproduction. Banjo-Kazooie. This one, once again, between about 25 and 30 dollars, maybe closer to the 30 dollar range on this one. But once again, reproduction 20 to 25 bucks. Um you know, just no good reason to buy it at that price point. Uh, I've even seen these in pawn shops in some cases for going for between $20 and $25 for the real deal. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's kind of like, why on earth would you spend that kind of money just to get a fake one with the potential issues that they deal with in terms of longevity? 
Uh, I'd much rather have this one that's already stood the test of time and proven it. Okay. Uh, next one on the list would be Yochi's Story. This one's probably a little bit more between about uh, you know twenty eight and thirty two dollars a piece for the original. Uh, and once again, reproduction, you're going to spend between $20 and $25. But once again, minimal cost when you consider the potential hassle issues and longevity issues with the memory. Uh, I would just say go ahead and just buy the original on this one. Now the last one on this list is a little bit more unique. Um, actually, I should say second to last on my list. I forgot I got one other here. Uh, and that is Super Smash Brothers. And yes, actually, I did make the mistake when I first got into the hobby of buying a reproduction. This is the U.S. version reproduction that we ended up paying actually more than $20 to $25 for. We ended up paying a bit more, paying $30 for this because we found it through another seller that was more expensive. Um, this was probably one of the worst values I've gotten in uh, my collecting. But... The good news is, is that as a backup, and to make sure that I've got the real deal, I went and bought the Japanese version, which once again is very English friendly. This guy will set you back about $15, as opposed to $20 to $25 for the reproduction, or $40 to $50 for the authentic U.S. version. Um, from an all-around perspective, I would just say, just buy the authentic Japanese version of this. The menus are in English. Uh, voices are in English. Uh, about the only thing that I found that wasn't in English was the little brief tutorial at the beginning or the character bios. That's it. So, anyway, uh, Super Smash Brothers, definitely I would just buy the authentic Japanese version as opposed to the reproduction cartridge. So, this was another one that I did end up purchasing the reproduction cartridge on early on uh, before I learned a few things. Uh, about N64 collecting. So um, this is Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing, you can find between about $25 and $30 for the authentic U.S. version. Once again, $20 to $25 for the reproduction. And then uh, you can find the U the Japanese version, uh, which it has a little bit of Japanese there in the menu, but it's doable. You can learn to navigate it fairly quickly for about $10 to $15. For, once again, the authentic Japanese version from U.S. eBay sellers. So that's my list that I've come up with. As I said, you know, whether you're, you're for reproductions or against reproductions, I would say this is pretty universal. These titles, just there's just no good logical reason to buy them as reproductions. Uh, I would just say it, it's just basically throwing away money specifically on these titles because... The, Literally every alternative to these is a better option. And anyways, that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.